Welcome back, everyone. If you plan to make a trip to the grocery or drugstore, the CDC recommends wearing a face mask. For two local girls, what was once a way to pass the time is now a quick way to make a dime. Our Savannah Gato has more on the story. Medical masks are in short supply, and sewing groups are helping by making cloth masks and donating them to health care workers. For our pair sisters, sewing masks started as a project and is quickly turning into a kitchen table business. Since the coronavirus has been going on, I've been trying to help the community a little bit by giving away some masks to some citizens and also selling masks for money to get my supplies together. Kirsten and Kaylee Burnett spend part of each day at the sewing machine. This is the result, masks measured, cut, and sewn from scratch. Well, my part of um, the whole thing that we're doing is I basically had to like put together all the stuff, um, lay it out, and just build it up so she can sew it. And we're trying to help the community by doing this. They use a variety of fabrics and patterns so anyone can wear them at any time. The sisters are also helping small businesses by buying fabric locally. I think it's helpful to like since the social distancing, so some people don't like want to do it, uh, as you can tell. But I think the mask will actually help, like keep all of their germs to themselves. So. During this pandemic, the duo is happy to help in any way they can. Um, when usually when everybody like calls us, they'll we'll either meet them places or um, they'll come to our house, like if we know them like that, or we'll just ship them to them. A mask takes about 15 to 20 minutes to complete. Then Kirsten and Kaylee are on to the next one. Right now, the money they make is going back into their business, helping with fabric costs.